What I saw in Libya, and at least in the last days, I was with my friend, the photographer and uh, filmmaker, Marc Roussel, who is here. We went in Misrata. Misrata is this besieged city, which is accessible only by sea, which is a martyr city, and where we were uh, till, yes, till, the, till the day before yesterday. What I saw in two words, because I would yeah. like now to hear Mrs. Livni, what, what we see is two things, mainly, roughly speaking. Number one, the most destroyed city I saw in my life. The biggest and most savage urbicide, urbicide the, the, the killing of the spirit of a city, urbicide, which I ever saw, probably worse than Sarajevo, probably more spectacular than Vukovar, to, to quote a few examples which I know, a city destroyed with a, a systematic way, with a barbarity, which really it is heartbreaking and leaves you breathless. Number one. The other thing we saw is a, a resistance uh, and an example of resistance, of dignity, of courage, and of heroism, which is, I think, unprecedented in modern history. Generally, when you have a city which is occupied by tanks, by heavy uh, forces, they liberate themselves when you have um, uh, an armed column which arrived from outside, Paris was liberated by the Deuxième DB and by the freedom fighters of, of inside, but you had also Colon from inside. In Misrata, you have this incredible example of a city which liberated itself with nearly bare hands, with the citizens themselves, building some uh, fortune weapons, uh, making them out of uh, pieces of iron and so on, and pushing the tanks out of the city with a very heavy price of blood. It costed a lot, 1,300 uh, uh, dead probably, 6,000 injured. The last day when we were there, in the very day, 80 uh, um, injured, close to death people coming from the front line of Defna and Abdul Raouf. So this example of, of courage a, lib a city liberating itself um, without, nearly without any external uh, no, so we're support.